Nutritional researcher and cookbook author Adam Hart joins us now to talk about the non-GMO show that's going on next weekend. That's right. Thank you for being here, first yeah, of all. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about GMOs because there's a lot of chatter about it, and yeah. I don't think a lot of people really understand the issue. Yeah. So yeah. why do you think they're bad for us? Um, you know, for me, it's really a personal thing where I had a lot of food allergies growing up and didn't realize what they might have been from. As I became a nutritional researcher and discovered more about plant-based foods and how they were making me feel, I kind of got a, a more direct link to my relationship with food. And that led to me really wanting to avoid anything that's modified, directly modified. Now, isn't everything modified to some degree, though? Yeah, I mean, with the science that's going on right now, it's, uh, it's really kind of a bit of a wacky science where we're splicing genes from one uh, species and then another one. And so when we right. ingest these types of foods, uh, the body really doesn't know how to handle those in a, in a way that's normal. So a lot of food allergies as a, as a result. Do you find there's a trend like people are paying more attention to to what they're putting into their body? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I think I think a lot of us are just tired of being tired. And, right. and when we connect to how we feel and we use food as, yeah. a, as a way of medicine, mm -hmm. uh, it talks to us. And so the unknown too, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So for me, it was really just reconnecting to my relationship to overcome my food allergies and all those. And GMO was just such a big one that I, uh, I started to eliminate and felt mm -hmm. great for it. And yeah. is it possible to, I mean, you know, to be honest, we've been going after the a better tomato since right. we started growing yeah, tomatoes. Yeah, the flavor saver tomatoes. So is, is it possible to avoid foods that have been altered? Well, you know, it's tough nowadays. I think it's about, uh, percentage is about 80% of our uh, foods in our grocery stores is modified in some way or another. Right. So it's really getting to be a little more familiar with the key ingredients, you know, corn, um, soy, canola. Those are the kind of the main three in our food supply that uh, if we can avoid those types of uh, ingredients, we're going to go a long way with eliminating some of those uh, modified uh, foods. Yeah, you were yeah. saying labeling could uh, improve as well, just so we can get a look and see exactly what uh, we're putting into our bodies. Yeah, and you know, it also gives us a direct relation to what we eat. So we, when we have symptoms, we can start to directly correlate them to something that we buy that actually was labeled as a mm -hmm. modified ingredient. Right now, we just don't have that connection. Yeah. So you, what, what kind of a reaction do you have when you have when you eat something that's been very... Well, for me, it was, it was definitely understanding a, what I call the toxic load uh, after a series of, uh, of time, whether it's months or years, I realized that I was ingesting a really large toxic load on my body, whether it's pesticides or GMO. That's mm, the big right. one for me in there as well and gluten. Um, so it was really getting to, to understand what that load was like and then starting to release a little bit of that um, through just a bit of a healthier lifestyle. You have lots of Very alternatives in your uh, in your book and yeah, uh, one yeah. that you'll present right now. Yeah, yeah this so is uh, the spicy, spicy chocolate avocado salad. Great. Chocolate in a salad? Yes. <laughs> well, chocolate and oh. avocado. Oh, look at your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's dynamite. You know it goes saying. really well together. So why don't we, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, we've got some avocado. That's kind of the base of it. Jay, if you can maybe throw that into the big bowl. Everything going in here? Yeah, everything going in here. tending the uh, onions, right? Yeah, Basically, yeah, that's on low right now. We can turn that right off, actually. And they, they're nicely sauteed, okay. ready to go. And we got some beautiful fresh tomatoes. Tomatoes right going into, okay. Awesome. And then we got a little bit of heat. This is the jalapeno pepper. Just a little bit in there. Now I, I showed the whole one because you, you can add as much as you want heat wise. Heat with chocolate and avocado goes really well together. Really? It does right not there. sound yeah. like it kick. would go it'll well have a together. Kick. Yeah. yeah, it'll have okay. a kick. You can always add more. There's a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice going in, okay. Awesome. That's going to give it nice, nice body. We got some goji berries, which is a great, great immune boosting uh, berry. So, goji berries, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Right. Yeah, they're getting a lot of buzz right now. Yeah, great to snack on. So these those. are dried, and you yeah, can those just, are like, dried. Eat a handful. You of can them? soak them. You can just place them in a little bit of water for a half hour, and they'll plump up nice and juicy. It's immune really boosting is that immune? What you're yeah, they have what are long chain uh, polysaccharide sugars that actually feed your immune system. Okay. So, yeah, it's been one of my main I can snacks. You need some of that. that. <laughs> Jay's been off sick the yeah. past week. So, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely that will help. Good. Um, we got a little bit of mint, just to also give it some of that mint, fresh, okay. vibrant uh, taste. And, of course, we have our cacao, and that's the chocolate. The chocolate. This is so raw. You're doing so a little cacao powder. Yeah, just the cacao powder. Okay. If you want, you could melt you can, you can make it a fun salad. <laughs> I'm all for that. But this is nice the way it is. We got a little bit of uh, Himalayan rock salt, crystal salt, so a lot of good minerals in there. It's not the table salt. Okay. Right. And then we have our onions. And the oh, onions have been sauteed in some beautiful extra virgin Here olive oil. Watch it, it's hot. So why don't you just. Uh... Yeah, just go ahead and. Yeah, awesome. You, got, you want me to help you there? You right. I got it. Yeah, I got awesome. it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right on. Mix That's it up. Great. Yeah, mix it all up. And then now you got the spicy chocolate avocado salad. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to top it with this guy here. This is a, a hemp-based mix of five organic seeds. It's actually a product that I created called Raw Energy. It's uh, this guy right here. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic stuff. You just add it to whatever you eat. Sorry, what's in here, Adam? What did you say? It's hemp is the number one ingredient. Okay. Then there's sesame, buckwheat, flax, and chia. I add it on all my food, just a tablespoon at a time, helps stabilize my blood sugar. On top okay. of my Nature's Path cereal right there. <laughs> Super yeah. easy every morning, just do that. <laughs> Very nice. And then you just toss that right in the salad, and then it makes it just a, a, a much more nutrient-rich salad. Right. Yes. Going right in now. Yeah, so, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just uh, briefly tell us about the GMO, non-GMO show? Yeah, so this coming weekend, the non-GMO show, in correlation with the gluten-free show as well, both oh, kind right. of side by side each other. And just a really great uh, way for um, anybody who wants to learn more about what's in their food. Come on out, check it out. I'm, I'll be speaking in a couple of days. There's some and, details uh, there yeah, it'll at be, the Vancouver uh, it'll Connect great. Convention Center. NoGMOshow.com for tickets. Yeah, I would so said lots of alternatives in the uh, the power of food, the cookbooks. So yeah. yeah. Awesome. Right. I look forward to you guys trying the salad. That looks good. I'm going to try that. Absolutely. Thanks Thank so you, much, Adam. Adam. Okay. That was really yeah. great. Thanks for having yeah. me. Appreciate it. Yeah, that looks yummy.